Hi, my name is Danielle Sterling. Um, I'm in Principles of Genetics with Dr. Oakes, and this is my geneticist project on Theodosius Dobzhansky. Theodosius Dobzhansky was born on January 24, 1900 in the Ukraine. He was originally born with the name Theodosi Grigorovich Dobzhansky, but later changed it to just Theodosius Dobzhansky. Theodosius was an only child to Sophie and Grigory Dobzhansky. He married Natalia Cerveza, also known as Natasha, who was also a geneticist, and they had a daughter named Sophie. The first university he attended was the University of Kiev. Over the years, he studied and worked at Columbia University and the California Institute of Technology. During his time at the University of Kiev, Theodosius studied entomology and genetics. Within this time of study in the Ukraine, he published over 30 scientific works, which started his career as a geneticist. During Dobzhansky's time, he worked with geneticists like Thomas Hunt Morgan, who was a Nobel Peace Prize winner in psychology or medicine in 1933, Alfred Sturdivant, and Yuri Flipchenko. Josias Dobzhansky's first published book was Genetics and the Origin of Species, which put C. Wall Wright's theoretical work into actual findings of how natural populations can address different evolutionary problems. Theodosius' scientific study used Drosophila flies due to their ability to produce mutations easily, they have a small gene nap, they have large reproduction sizes, and they need minimal care. Many scientists today still use them for extensive research projects. Well, genetics of natural populations 12 experimental reproduction of some of the changes caused by natural selection in certain populations of Drosophila pseudobuscura written by Dobzhansky and Wright was one of the most extensive projects which was repeated several times. This is the population cage where the fruit flies were kept. It is a small wooden box with a mesh top for ventilation, metal funnel for exit and entrance, and certain tubes are filled with food. Flies were taken from Pino Flats, California and separated into three categories, standard, Jotua, arrowhead, and were collected throughout the year. The three graphs show the frequency of each gene throughout the year. Table two is a description of all 19 traits. The traits are temperature, light, number of fruit flies, the number of chromosomes per category, and the kinds of chromosomes per category. In experiments, the most significant experiments were 4, 6, and 8, which were performed mostly in spring and at 25 degrees Celsius. The three different chromosome types were put into boxes and then bred for three to four months to determine which chromosome had the highest abundance. Table 10 is the statistical analysis done for the three different types at 16 and 25 degrees Celsius. Showing the data taken at 25 degrees, almost all were significant when comparing the three chromosome types and their abundance during the different times. For Drosophila melanogaster, Theodosius not only created the first cytological chromosome map for the third chromosome, but demonstrated the gene linkage is based on the linear arrangement of chromosomes. Zansky published the book Heredity, Race, and Society in 1946, which describes how race plays a huge part in our perception of people, but really is a mythical concept that we pre-decide before knowing someone. In the book Genetic Diversity and Human Equality, Theodosius said, equality as an equality in law and equality of opportunity pertains to the rights and the sacredness of life of every human being. Dobzhansky was one of the key authors when writing the modern synthesis of evolutionary theory, which was centered around Darwin's findings in the theory of evolution, putting natural selection into a new light for future generations. The batson dobzhansky muller model is a way of explaining how natural selection influences the population and causes hybridization within a specific species, no longer allowing them to meet within the original population.
Last Years of Life, Dozanski wrote one of his most famous essays, Nothing in Biology Makes Sense Except in Light of Evolution. The purpose of this essay was bring to light the importance of organismic biology and show that religion cannot give all the answers to the universe. At the time he wrote this essay, Theodosius was offered a job at the University of California, Davis as a superior. After a seven-long-year battle with leukemia, though, Theodosius died on December 18, 1975, at the age of 75. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed my geneticist presentation on Theodosius Dobzhansky.